Hi, so my name's Arrow, I go by they, them pronouns, and I'm going to be reading a poem of mine today called Trigger Warning. Um, so I wanted to give a little bit of context for this poem before I read it. Um, I wrote this poem a couple years ago, I think, or at least like a while ago, I don't know. But um, basically, I wrote this when uh, the term trigger warning was starting to be used in more mainstream contexts, and um, when people were really starting to make fun of it at the beginning. And I think now it's kind of changed. Um, like people use this uh, term, like use the word triggered to refer to something that is less serious than its original meaning and mm, like more serious than like a joking context. Um, and it's kind of changed. So I don't feel the same way completely as I do when I first read this poem. But when I first read this poem, like, I just felt like anyone who spoke up against the fact that this joke, that this phrase was using, being used as a joke, was really ostracized and like, oh, like, uh, overdramatic SJW, blah, blah, blah. And I just felt really uncomfortable and afraid of that scrutiny. Um, but I was also really upset by this whole situation, so I wrote it into a poem. Um, and so uh, I do regret that I wasn't able to share this when it was more culturally, rele culturally relevant, but, um, you know, I think it's still important to talk about. And so, yeah, so I'm going to share this poem anyways. All right. Trigger warning. This poem includes the following. Trigger warning self-harm, trigger warning suicide, trigger warning sexual assault, trigger warning panic attacks, trigger warning eating disorders, trigger warning other things that might mildly surprise or mildly offend someone because that's what being triggered is, right? Trigger warning. Sarcasm. Trigger warning. The spoken repetition of the words trigger warning so it loses its impact and becomes a normal, acceptable, jokeable, usable part of your vocabulary. See, I wanted this poem to reflect real life. The phrase trigger warning was originally used to warn people with trauma when content contained something that could screw up their stability. People started asking for warning for things that made them uncomfortable, like blood or swearing. Then it became a joke. Triggered. Someone makes a rape joke and a survivor of sexual assault has flashbacks that makes them feel disgusting and trapped by their past. Triggered. A person with an eating disorder is forced into a situation that causes them to fall into destructive and dangerous eating patterns. Triggered. I'm watching a play and in it, the character starts writing a suicide note. I want to leave, but I'm stuck in the center of the crowd. The character kills themselves. I hide the hyperventilation from my panic attack best I can. Then I feel scared of myself, guilty and suicidal. I'm able to stop thinking about the moment in the play for weeks. Triggered. I almost made it two weeks without hurting myself. I watch a video informing people about mental illness. The character self-harms. I relapse. Triggered. I try to tell my therapist about something I saw that made me feel pause, that made me unable to think, frozen and terrible feeling, separated from the world, terrified of myself and my past. I lost and isolated. She called it a trigger. And some part of my brain told me that she was making fun of me. Turning my reaction into a joke, I don't feel comfortable using the word triggered anymore because people turned what used to be a helpful word into a joke, a joke that extremely minimizes my pain and mocks me. I use the phrase content warning now. Thanks.